Tonight, we are learning how police tracked down a man accused of kidnapping a 14 year old and forcing him to join a gang. I'm Abby Kirk and I'm Joshua. Police say this man took a teenager 500 miles from home before they were caught in Chattanooga. A new body camera video shows the revealing moments when Chattanooga officers discovered something was just not right. Kylie Thomas joins us live with what it shows. Kylie. Yeah, right now we are at Riverside Park, which is where CPD initially found Larry Taylor and 14 year old Shaden Howard. And tonight you're getting a firsthand look at some of that body camera footage from the officers who ultimately solved this multi state missing teenager case. Protecting Chattanooga streets takes instinct. Officer Jason Clemens knows that well. Their stories just weren't matching up uh, as far as how they got to Chattanooga. Police felt something was off this muggy May afternoon when they encountered three people in Riverside Park. The kid says they stayed in a hotel. The adult says that we stayed at my brother's house, who's a cop in Indiana. The man they're referring to is Larry Taylor. Records show he's a leader of a known gang in Indiana. He's accused of recruiting multiple teenagers for his gang. That's where Shaden Howard comes in. Yeah, I'm lying because I'm confused. The teen originally tells police a fake name. He also says Taylor is his dad. But as officers drilled Taylor with questions, he couldn't answer. You've been his adopted father for 14 years, yeah. and you don't know his middle name. Police separate the two, getting different stories from each. The issue with the juvenile is we can't verify who he is, and if we can't verify who he is, we can't say that that's his dad. Officer Clemens, along with other key people in juvenile court, called Indiana to learn more about Taylor's criminal past. That's when an Indiana court clerk told them that Taylor was wanted on a kidnapping charge. They searched the missing children database and found Howard's picture. His mother relieved that he was found alive. I am just the happiest mother right now. The happiest mother. When Howard got home, he told Indiana State Police Taylor threatened to kill his family if he didn't go with him. They jumped on a few trains until they reached Tennessee, an outcome that wouldn't have happened without the instinct of these officers. Tonight, Taylor is facing five felony charges, including kidnapping, and he remains behind bars back in Indiana without a bond. Live at Riverside Park, I'm Kylie Thomas. Thank you, Kylie. We tried to reach out to the Howard family to see how Shaden is doing, but we have not heard back.